Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at my favorite store, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I'm always on the hunt for makeup goodies, so let's see what's inside. Found a whole lot this week. This is the Kevin Aquan Blitz Kid Eyeshadow Palette. Haven't seen any Kevin Aquan in a long time. This is really pretty eyeshadow, perfect for spring. So yeah, we don't see too much from him. So this is a great deal at $12.99. Next, here's the Stila Matte and Metal Palette. I bought this a couple years ago when it came out. It's a really, really pretty palette. Milani has one that kind of looks like this. Um, but if you're in the market, it's a really pretty rosy nude palette and um, nice to see some Stila out here. Next, we have a Bare Minerals Gen Nude Natural Oasis Palette. This is a really pretty kind of a camo uh, green and gold and brown, just a really pretty natural palette. So if you're into Bare Minerals, it's nice to see some different things. So pretty, I love this green. Next, we have a whole bunch of BH Cosmetics. This is the jackpot of all jackpots. This is the Blueberry Muffin Palette, a gorgeous blue and brown palette. If you're in the market for blue eyeshadow, I highly recommend Blueberry Muffin. These are so great, and I love finding this palette. Next up is Avocado Toast, another great Weekends Vibe palette. This one is beautiful shades of green all only $7.99 and just look at this I was so happy I'm just grabbing everything oh my gosh I just love it so I already have this one as well but it is a must if you're into greens for sure next up I found another this is the weekend vibes mimosa palette this is so pretty for summer it has great shades of peach yellow orange pink it is so so pretty look at this this is just perfect for summer it's got some really really pretty neon shades and i just love it so much i'm just so sad about bh going out but if you're in the market get down there now so you can get some of these palettes let's see what else they have oh lost in los angeles now, of course, this is the Natasha Denona Pastel Dupe Palette. I already have this one, but you should definitely, definitely pick this up if you're in the market for some spring pastels. It is great. Next up, Party in Puerto Rico. This is a really pretty warm tone palette, too. It has some great vibrant shades. Again, some gold, some reds some peaches some brown some burgundies just a really really pretty warm palette let's i've never seen this one before color vivace this kind of reminds me of the color pop lemoncello palette real pretty shades of neutral you got a pop of blue a pop of green this would also be perfect for summer i love these pinks that is so so pretty i actually like this better than lemoncello I'm gonna pick this one up. I've never even heard of it. Oh gosh, more BH. This is part of the Say It collection. Here's the looking like a snack palette. This is really, really pretty. These are the larger pans. You've got the pinks, the oranges. I like the black and the white. I always like a palette that's got a black in it. Um, so that's really pretty. Here's another one over here. Uh, so that's looking like a snack. Here's Optimistic AF. This is a really pretty warm palette as well. Great shades for autumn. You've got the yellow and the orange and the browns. I like this palette for fall. It's really, really pretty. Oh, I never even heard of this one. This is another one from the Poison Shop collection. We found Sub-Zero and we found Venom. This is Ghost Pepper. Really pretty shades of pinks and reds. Uh, I almost, I should get this, but gosh, I've got so many BH palettes. Here's some Doja Cat. Oh, these are the Flora. These are the blush trios. This one's in Poppy. So this is, yeah. Oh gosh, that's really pretty. The orange and the browns. That is gorgeous. So that's the Poppy. Those are only $4.99. And here's another one. This one is the Rose. Uh, these are all shades of pink. God, these blush palettes are really, really pretty. Oh, uh, what is, oh gosh. Tanned in Tulum. I've never heard of Tulum, but this is a six shade 
bronzer and highlighter palette, only $5.99. Oh, wow, this is gorgeous. This would be perfect for summer. I'm going to pick this one up. The shades are kind of dark, but and I like that really burnt red, or uh, the red in the right-hand lower corner. I like that. That looks like a sunburn. Here's another one, Weekend Vibes Frosé. This is another sick shade. This one is more pink. Oh, that one is broken. That is too bad. This is a lighter highlighter palette. That bottom left uh, corner is broken. What's this? Chocolate Truffle Orange Palette. Now, this is a four-shade peach blush palette. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, all the B... Oh, gosh, this is pretty, too. These look like all matte shades, and that is... Man, decisions, decisions. What? Oh, wow, this Sephora brush set. This is their Coconut Travel brush set. I just saw this at Sephora during the sale. This is great. It's only $12.99 here, and this has really wood handles, and they're all individual different... Uh, well, you can see how the handles are all different. Those are real wood. This is so pretty. I'm not really crazy about... I like the handles, but I don't care for the brush heads. I'm going to pass. Okay, so here is a 12-piece face and eye set. This is the Burstone collection. So this goes along with the BH eyeshadow palettes. This is 12 different brushes, and they're all different shades of Burstones. Oh, it's only $9.99. So this goes along with the last... Oh, aren't these so pretty? All white brush heads, and they're like clear, different colors of brushes with all the stones listed on here. This is a really, really pretty set. Wow, I like that. Now, hmm, this looks to be about the same. This is the Crystal Zodiac brush face and eye set, and these also have colored handles. I wonder if this is just the same set with a different name. That's really interesting because both of these sets look very similar. Oh well, what else do we have? Oh, this is the Mrs. Bella. This is a nine piece brush set for face and eye. This is really pretty. They all have pink handles and come in a pink cup. Wow, and it's on clearance to only 12 bucks. I, I just love these brush sets. That is so pretty. Um, let's, oh, a real technique sponge. These are my favorite makeup blending sponge. Mine are all orange. I've never seen a pink one. This is so cute. Only $3.99. That's a really good deal. Well, not really, but whatever. It's a different one. Let's see what else we have. Oh, here's some Uma Beauty. We haven't seen this in a while. This is the Boss Gloss Lip Gloss in Passion. Um, I'm not really a fan of Uma Beauty, but it's nice to see some different things show up. And here's some Tartist. Okay, this is a... Um, what do you call it? This is their... Uh, this is very dry. What is it? A gold shade? It's their, their lip their lip paint. I, I tried one of these one. I don't like this stuff. And is it gold? I don't know. I'm going to pass, but it's nice to see some tart. Oh, Campari. Wow. The coconut melt. I can't believe this is here. It's only $12.99. So, um, I have a Campari set, but nice to see this here. Um, so if you're in the market, you can save a bunch of money. I found some more Campari. We've seen the lip glosses before, but I've never seen the coconut melt. What else? Oh gosh, here's a whole set. Now this has got a little melt, a little uh, brush, and a little scrub. So this Capari set is $16.99, and it looks really interesting. It is so nice to see some of these Sephora brands here. Yeah, body brush, travel size. Yeah, so this would be good if you want to travel and take your set with you, and a Capari scrub. So do like that brand, but don't need any. Here's some more. Oh, some Glam Glow. Glam Glow is expensive. This is a triple acid oil-free moisturizer. This was $29.99. Uh, I'm not sure how. This stuff is always expensive at Sephora, and it's just nice to see some Glam Glow here. Um, it sounds really good, but I don't need any moisturizer, but just showing you some different things. Um, what else do we have? Oh, Sephora brand, a purifying mud mask. Wow, this is only $4.99. That's a great deal. And it, the main ingredients, kale and clay, that is a very good ingredient for the mask. So 
Yeah, they just had all this stuff on sale for 30% off during the sale. Oh my gosh, Ula Hendrickson. Are you kidding me? I paid full price for this. The Banana Bright Eye Primer, uh, excuse me, Face Primer. I bought both, the Eye Primer and the Face Primer. I'm going to die if the Eye Primer shows up too. This stuff is really good. I cannot believe it's at TJ Maxx. Oh my gosh, $12.99 such a deal wow if you're looking for a good primer i highly recommend this one i have it i can't believe this is here oh my god oh well get you some for sure oh my gosh super goop the cc sunscreen i almost bought this during the sale too this is 100 percent mineral sunscreen it's only 12.99 you've got your zinc oxide and your titanium dioxide this is what you want to get now i almost bought this because it's 12.99 and i think it's like 36 dollars over at sephora when i was looking at it the problem is i opened it up it's tinted and the tint was way too dark oh my gosh here's some cooler this is really good i've tried this too the daydream mineral primer spf 30 this is really good too it has a lot of good skin loving ingredients in it 14.99 i was looking for the x expiration date but this primer does have a bit of a glow there's your zinc oxide and titanium dioxide exactly what you want to see but i got a sample of this in the sephora sun safety kit which is available now i didn't get this year's but uh previous year and i do like this primer okay it's still good for a while so i might have to get this let's see what else here's some more kula this is the mineral sun silk moisturizer this is really good. It's in a um, air vacuum pump where you pump it up, kind of like the drunk elephant packaging. And this felt very nice. And then again, there's your zinc oxide. This is $16.99. Um, I do like this, but I have oily skin, so I might have to pass. Okay, it's still good to December 2022. Here's some more Kula. What is this? A Like a tanning compact? Wow, that's interesting. $14.99. I just love seeing Kula here. Such a great brand. What is this? It looks like a, I don't know, a self-tan compact of some sort. But um, yeah, great brands are showing up. It's been so dead. And now there's, oh, we've seen this before. This is the Mega Mushroom, the Origins brand, the the Resilience. It's a, it's a um, if you've got redness or irritated skin, this is a great, I have this as well. I think it's like $49 over at Sephora. It's pretty expensive. It's only $14.99 and it's great if you have any kind of problem or redness or irritated skin, it's great. Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Calming Lotion. Here's some more calming, oh, this is a calming mist. This is the Dr. Jart Sycopare and we've seen their calming my uh lotion as well but this is a mist so that's pretty nice this stuff is expensive too wow 9.99 is that all this is oh my gosh i just bought some of this but so i don't need any but i like the idea of a mist that's nice oh my gosh nest makes hand sanitizer and it's on clearance oh my gosh i have some nest perfumes i didn't know that they made this is their bamboo hand sanitizer only eight bucks well that's cool i didn't know the nest made that uh, oh my gosh the whole joyco line i have the joyco blue shampoo oh my god here's the blue shampoo i have this in my cart right now at ulta waiting for a coupon this is the giant bottle oh my gosh this is 38 dollars. i know because i've got it in my cart it's only $19.99 here. This is for brunettes um, to tone down brassiness. Kind of like, there's the shampoo. Okay, here's the conditioner. Um, anyways, it takes out orange and brassiness, just like a purple shampoo does for blondes. And I've heard really good things about it. I think I'm going to, I don't need the conditioner. I think I'm going to pick up the shampoo just because the small bottle is $20 at Ulta, and I've been wanting to try it. I can't believe I... Look at all the Joyco here. My goodness. Look at... Oh, here's one for blondes. Um, gosh, I... Here's a Batiste. They always have Batiste dry shampoos, but this one's for dark hair. That is so cool. So it doesn't leave a white cast. That's really interesting. Um, I've heard so many good things about the Batiste dry shampoo. I haven't tried it yet, but I might have to get that. That is so cool. I love it. Wow. And of course, that is the big, big spray can. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Verb. Look at all the verb stuff. Oh my gosh. It's a ghost. I was looking for the ghost oil. This is a ghost dry oil. So, oh my gosh. All these hair things I was going to buy at Ulta. 
and they're all right here at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is amazing. Oh, here's a Not Your Mother's Beach Babe hair balm. This is pretty cool. You put this on your hair before you go swimming, and it protects from chlorine and stuff. I have a product kind of like this from Shea Moisture I'm using right now, but if you go swimming, you really want to put some, get your hair wet and put in a protective coating like this, and it will keep your hair from getting ruined by the chlorine this stuff is i haven't tried this particular one but the shea moisture one i have is uh really great so let's see well let's wrap it up with some opi nail polish you know opi is always 13 dollars 50 at ulta sometimes you can get it on sale or for 11 dollars 50 that's a pretty purple shade i like that here is oh i sell cars this color in a uh, toyota this color would be called lunar rock um, so I might have to get this just because we have a car paint that color. Normally I would think that's ugly, but I might have to get it. And here's a pretty purple. Um, yeah, just really pretty for spring. I love OPI polish, just two coats and it's just such a great polish. Here's a pretty pink for spring too. Wow. I just love OPI. So many great things. You guys have got to get out and get shopping. Um, there's another pretty hot pink. That's going to do it for this one. My name is Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Have a great week, y'all. Bye-bye.